Hello and welcome back to my drink driving simulator. <laughs> right, today I figured, since I mentioned it before and we never quite got there, since I got all uh, involved in doing other things. I'd actually try and find the drag strip and uh, since it's drunk driving simulator we're going to have some beers on the way. Right, come on, club club. Let's keep this thing to gear. No, that's backwards. Stop going backwards! There we go. <laughs> so we can close the door. Yes! We're winning today. Right. Um, yeah, I figured what I'd do, since somebody mentioned they were kind of curious that I used to own a Fiat 126 which I pointed out in that field. Uh, when I took my car to the garage. What's going on with the door? I'd, I'd run through a few of my um, own personal cars. Can I do the outside view still? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. It is majestic. I sort of figured out a way to drive this. It's just extremely slow. Oops. Ah. Oh, I probably should get back in there. Um, yeah, I figured I'd run through some of my own personal cars. Um, I'd try and put them in some sort of chronolog chron chronological... Chrono, chrono, nah. Some sort of time, time, time related order. <laughs> so it makes some sort of sense to you. Although it doesn't really matter because they're all kind of cool, I think. I, I, at least I think they're kind of cool. And then we're cool at the time. Uh, some of them are a little bit interesting. I don't have photos of all my cars, unfortunately, but I've got quite a few. So let's see. Off the top of my head, it's my little rally car, which I'm going to pop up on the screen about now. Hopefully this muscle car is not too loud and you can hear me pretty well today. I might have to turn the game volume down. We'll see about that though. So yeah, that's my little uh, my little rally car. That was a Peugeot 205 with a, whoops, a, a wide body conversion on it. Um, it wasn't just the bodywork that was wide track, it was suspension as well. So it was actually as wide as the body made it look, it wasn't just a chavy car, even though it looks a bit chavy. Uh, it was it was more sort of uh, function over form. It didn't look the prettiest in the world, but it did the job. Handled really well, it was really quick for a little car, and uh, it was really light as well. It was good fun, and I used to do a bit of hill climbing in it, uh, a few track days and things. Never really competitive, but I enjoyed it. And then, because I felt I was getting a little bit dangerous with that car, and I'd had it for a long time, I got rid of it. I sold it to a guy who, as far as I'm aware, took it to Wales and rolled it uh, and killed it. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, really. But there you go. Uh, and then my second car was this one, which is a 200SX, and that was a gorgeous car. Uh, some people might know these cars as, like, drifter cars. But... Well, I, I got this, say, what was it, looking back now, I think it was over 10 years ago. Was it over 10 years? I think it was over 10 years I got this car. And at the time, nobody really knew what they were. Nobody was too interested in... But I'm, I bought it because when I was younger, my dad had one. He had one when they first came out, and I thought it was a really cool car. So I picked it up pretty cheap, and did a few bits and pieces to it, and kept it quite tidy. And it was a gorgeous car. Uh, and then, for whatever reason, I did some silly things with it, took it apart and sold that too. Uh, and then, with the proceeds from that, I ended up buying myself a little blue MX-5, which went through quite a few iterations. Um, and that, that had all sorts of things done to it. I, I changed bumpers and stripped out weight from it here and there. and changed wheels almost you know every other month because that's what car guys do it's just something we like, enjoy doing and uh whoop, there's a big rock in the road there <laughs> um and eventually i i was I, I say i was persuaded i wanted to put a different engine in it and i was kind of given the get-go from people around me at the time and given help and i probably shouldn't have done but there's a little video of it so i'll pop that up if i can find it and put that up on the screen
it was truly epic that's my friend Toby with me in the car by the way um, that was really cool I never quite got it finished properly it had quite a few problems it used to overheat uh, yeah it, it, it kind of died after that and again I took it apart and sold it and uh, a while later I got a car we called Minion it wasn't really my car but it was one I drove for a while and to be honest it, it was a heap it was an absolute pile but I needed something we picked it up cheap it did the job uh, ooh, oh dear oh I've come off the road a bit I'm talking too much so I'm back up here Um, yeah, so that happened, and then, well, what do we do after that? Ah, we picked up a car I called Hate. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get these photos in some sort of order, because there's kind of, I know, there's either a lot of them or there's not many of them, I can't remember. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but I can't, because um, I called this car Hate because I hated it. I didn't really want it, I wanted to buy something else, but at the time I didn't have a lot of money. I just needed something that worked, so I kind of made the best of a bad deal. Uh, it cost me next to nothing, this thing. It had bits hanging off of it left, right and centre. Uh, it smoked, it made horrible, horrible noises. So yeah, that's height. Um, yeah, it had a few different things done to it, to be honest. I didn't really like the way it looked, so I faffed around with that. It, I sprayed it bright green. Um, I ended up putting a turbo on it because it was like a diesel engine and it was dog slow and then I put a turbo on it and it was a diesel engine it was dog slow with a turbo and it made some whistly noises <laughs> it didn't really make it much faster but it kept me happy uh, it was good to tinker with it it was a VW well sort of a VW so parts were easy to come by it was kind of easy to work on it wasn't overly a bad little car but the poor thing was rotten in the floor and yeah, for a long time it had no dashboards, which a lot of people found really amusing, but I wasn't too bothered because the heater works, so that was nice. Um, it was, yeah, it was kind of a shame to see it go, but on the upside, it probably would have ended up killing me, so that was probably for the best. Um, oh, I've totally forgotten the 126. Yeah, the 126 was before hate. I, I never actually drove it because it was so rotten. It needed so many repairs. I ended up just sort of getting rid of it and cutting it up and yeah there's bits of it all over the place now from what I'm aware of uh, let me give you some photos of that yeah, it's a pretty cool looking little car again I, I painted it a silly colour and lowered it and, and faffed around with it didn't really fix the problems it had just made it look a little bit better <laughs> yeah, you know why not it was a good fun little car though very small little engine in it, 600cc, two cylinders and it rattled like anything, I've never known an engine to bounce around so much, it was quite scary sadly I don't have a video of that, I would love to show you um, anyway, yeah, so after that I had hate and then whoops, that's a bit of a scary corner there we go, wow look there's a barn there, I wonder if there's anything in it that's kind of cool Oops, stay out the road, Derpy. Uh, and then it sort of brings me around to the car I've got now, which is a E36. Do, do, do. Are we here yet? We must be getting there. Wow, what is that over there? Leco tum tinkinetta. Okay. Um, it brings me around to my car I've got now, which is an E36. It's red. It's got some quite nice wheels on it, and it goes pretty well. I've got no idea where I am. I thought I was supposed to be going to the drag strip. Where am I? Um, I really need to learn a map on this thing. Maybe it is up here. I don't think it is, though. I think I've just got really lost. Never been here before though. Maybe I've just driven past the drag strip. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind getting out of my way? I'm much faster than you.
Ah, the brakes do not work on this thing. Don't tell me I've, I've driven all the way to the shop. I just missed the drag strip. I think I have. I have, haven't I? I've driven all the way to the shop and just missed the drag strip. How do I do this? I'm so useless. Oh, you know what this calls for then, don't you guys? Burn out. Sweet. So, if anybody knows where the drag strip is and they'd like to tell me, that'd be great. <laughs> but until then, I'll see you next time on the next Derpy video. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to get a map or something, aren't I? Right, see you later, guys. Bye bye.